Hello, welcome to Ruga Gaming with Star Citizen's 3.19.1 patch set to release in the next day or three. I decided to tell you what you can look forward to all the bug fixes, feature updates, as well as some issues they're still working on. There's a lot to get through, so let's get started. There have been four updates on the PTU this far for 3.19.1 let's start with the bug fixes so the first bug they fixed was the Aegis Reclaimer um, the elevator controls not working next up we got the UI controls the interaction in a thought where the interactions wouldn't work after you've opened the star map so that's fixed next we got the ship features with the ship to station docking uh, when requesting docking permission to assign docking color, the HUD element didn't appear. That's fixed. When calling the ATC multiple times, so when you call a tower, the security ships would show up and you know try to scan you constantly. So that's been fixed. Great news for the illegal cargo runners. And then next up is leaving and returning to salvage mission resets progress so that's actually an exploit i made the video on they fixed that some mining fixes where the deposits shattered at optimal range caused damage to the ship then we've got the rest stop at arc l4 where players were unable to call elevators from the rest stop refinery that's been fixed actor interactables uh, player unable to see or use the inner text prompts on certain spawned items. An issue where you press interaction keybind while the mobi class opening animation was played will break mouse control. Then there's the arc of Bajini point location uh, in the walkway on section 1 port B on Bajini point. There's no atmosphere and players will suffocate without a helmet. A bug on Everest Harbor where you get close to a certain, certain point with a Draco say which causes performance to drop drastically has been fixed. On Hurston, there's missing terrain at the cave entrance near Louisville that's been fixed. There's mission content. Uh, missing person does not appear at rec sites. That is a really annoying problem that they've sorted out. Next, we've got ASOP terminals, where the terminals become unusable for players after a player disconnects while interacting with them. So we've all seen that. Super annoying. That's sorted. Then there's another exploit fix where the bunker man turret gun can be detached using a tractor beam and attached to your ship and the Gatling has infinite ballistic ammo. Didn't know about that one myself, but that sounds awesome. 13,003 error on character retrieval readiness during launch, that's been fixed. Then there's the NPC beacon mission where combat assistance will not progress after an enemy ship has been destroyed, which is also an annoying one. Next up we've got harvestables. If multiple nodes attempt to shatter at once, the server can stall for multiple seconds. Then we've got vehicle UI, personal inner thoughts, text for requesting to take off, stays at request landing. Another fix is the multi-vehicle where the mining UI is appearing in low resolution. We've got the Argo Mole, where the interaction prompts for all mining turrets are easy to miss or unintuitive locations for players. And we've got the interactions fix for if the player attempts to get into a pilot seat and opens the inventory in quick succession, they will lose functionality. The persistent entity system where you cannot equip looted items after restarting a game session and there's a vehicle fix where the text for requesting to take off stays as the request landing not a biggie and then the last one for the first batch on the PTU is salvage contract 
cards where the progress bar flickers when multiple players salvage. So that is it for the first patch. The second one they released on the PTU is another fix for the Argo Mall where the MFT screens are black when seated in the pilot seat. So then we've got a salvage fix uh, to do with vehicle hull scraping where the salvage doesn't yield any material while at 0.0, .0 out of 0.0, .0 RMC counter. I've encountered that numerous times. So that's a bad one if you're not paying attention where you'll just keep scraping and you know your containers won't fill up so that sucks next we've got a mission fix with the boarding action in progress with a hanger above the 300 eye will not open and we've got the ui fix where the inventory screen mouse cursor drifts after dying in a ship overriding input from the player and we've got a mining gadget fix where not all modifiers are listed under device properties on each mining gadget and also the right side of the mining ui disappears after switching modes both of those are fixed and there's another mining fix where the range ui is squished when the player enters a seat that's already in mining mode and we've got a mirai fury series uh, bug fix with a Mirai brand ship filter in the render commander ship menu is out of order with unlocalized mouse server test. Then we've got an MPE fix where traversing the verse journal entry has doubled note at the bottom. And lastly, we've got the shopping fix where various drug commodities acquired from salvage contracts cannot be sold. Then moving on to the third 3.19.1 PTU little hot fix. We've got only three little fixes. Now one has fixed an issue which was causing the AR to get stuck standing or crouching on top of usables such as chairs. Finally, then they also fixed the issue where your inventory would just load and never show. And lastly, a mission, uh, the operations depot Lira 1 is missing a QT marker for the protect site mission that appears around area 18. Then finally, the last PTU patch where they fixed ASOP terminals that were unusable after just fading to black when accessed. And we've got another mission fix, Caterpillar Crash Sites, where additional FPS AI spawns after a planet is streamed out and in. And that's it for the bugs. There's a ton of them, so, you know, all these people complaining the whole time. So, so citizen devs, you know, what are they doing? They're not listening. They've fixed a lot in a very short time. So, I for one am very grateful should be too. Let's get to the feature updates, the exciting part. In the first patch on the PTU they added the Mira, Fury and the Fury MX as well as the Drake Corsair to free flight, racing and pirate Vandal swarm modes in Arena Commando. There was a core tech update for those lucky bastards out there who own Toby Eye Tracker. Next uh, We've got a location update for Lorval, where they improved the performance and did some polishing. We've got some gameplay features with tractor beam quality of life improvement that now ignores rotation when attaching mining items, gimbal, salvage items and rockets. There's a mineable scanning update which made it so that the scan results on the mining HUD account for the active laser modifiers without having to shoot the mineable with the laser. So that's balanced pass for salvage, bounty and assassination mission types. Another Fury Polish where they made improvements to rotational performance and fuel usage. So they should be even more nimble now. And they also increased the Corsair maneuvering thruster hit points. The third patch on the PTU 
made further improvements to Lawville's performance for gameplay improvements. They lo lowered the insurance timer and expedite costs across the ship lineup. So that's good news for all of us. Then they adjusted mineable rock instability values to be more predictable so players can better react. And lastly, patch for 3.19.1 on the PTU there will be a technical refactor to ASOPS. While this is mostly transparent update under the hood, it does have a few key directly observable advantages and fixes. And that's it guys. So I hope this video gets out before they drop the 3.19.1. Should be any moment now. I'm expecting it to be in the next one or two days. It could take as long as the, the end of the week but it's very likely we'll see it by Friday. Hit like, subscribe if this was of any use to you. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.